let's see. It will be something like that. Wait, does it look like cotton? Cause that is not the vibe. Next up, we have Target. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on this one. In today's episode, we are going to be shopping for Christmas, but also planning for Christmas as well. I have a whole bunch of ideas and a lot of things that I want y'all's help with in terms of deciding what plan or design I should go with. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video. So let's go ahead and kick it off with shopping. Okay y'all, let's get to shopping. So we are starting off today's video by shopping at At Home. Y'all, At Home did not disappoint this Christmas season. They have so many cute little ornaments and things like that. Y'all definitely gotta go check them out, especially if you like to buy just like single, really unique, special ornaments. I definitely would recommend them. Like, look at these, you guys are so, so pretty. So I'll go ahead and mention that my theme this year is a whimsical winter wonderland. So I'm doing colors like cream, silver, gold, like a blush pink, a light blue, and red. Those are all of the colors that I'm doing and I know it sounds like a lot, it kinda is, but I'm super duper excited. So to go along with my theme, I'll be incorporating a whole bunch of snowflakes and snowmen, anything that you would see on a snowy day is what I would like for you to see in my home when you walk in. You guys let me know down in the comments what your theme is for Christmas. I did a poll earlier like in October asking y'all what y'all was doing for Christmas and a lot of you guys are doing traditional this year which is really great I feel like at home and just everywhere you go has a whole bunch of traditional red green and white decor so um yeah I really liked this whole little section at home like the little gingerbread houses and the little pastel colors that they have which was totally my vibe because like I said that light blue and like pink is definitely you know up my alley this year I already have like a whole bunch of red white and pink ornaments because I did that last year but I didn't have any blue so you'll see that that's really like what I'm focusing on and shopping for <laughs> We also got a new blocked Christmas tree this year, so I'm really, really excited. I'll be sure to show you guys that when we put it all together in our Christmas Decorate With Me. But now, y'all, we are about to head to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, they had a few things, but nothing new, I felt like. I thought the prices, though, were very, very good, super duper affordable, like especially if you're just starting out your whole Christmas collection. I feel like this is a good place to come to start because they have like every color bulb that you can imagine except for light blue. That was the only thing I couldn't really find here, so yeah. But speaking of Christmas tree, are you guys doing real this year or fake? So last year we did real, but cleaning up like the mess of that real tree, it was, it was horrendous. I have a whole vlog about it. Um, well, not the whole vlog, but you know what I mean. Like we were cleaning it up on camera and it was just a mess like getting it out of here, but I will say it was beautiful and the scent was amazing. But this year we did go faux tree for our main one. So y'all let me know what you're doing and now we're heading to Target. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. That's what we do. 
I don't know about you guys, but every time I go to Target, I have to stop in the dollar spot section. Like, it's a must for me. Even if I don't spend like uh, an extended amount of time over here, I at least have to take a peek to see if there's anything new. There's an account I follow on Instagram and she posts like all the cute stuff that comes to Target, especially like in the dollar spot section. So I mainly try to see if I can go and find some of the things that she posted online because she always finds like the cute, cute stuff. I think she like goes as soon as they put the stock out and I can never like do that. So I just buy what I can. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't, but I'll have her Instagram linked down below. So if you guys are also interested in like finding out when the cute little stuff from the dollar spot comes out, her account is a really good resource for that. And then of course you already know, I had to go see what my girl Joanna was doing, go look at the Threshold collection. And now we are going to Michael's. Okay, so I'll admit that I've been sleep on Michaels. Like, they actually have some cute items up in here. I don't know what possessed me to even come in here because I, like, never usually come into Michaels. But I was like, let me just go see what's going on in here this year. And they had some really, really nice stuff. The garlands were beautiful. Like, their selection of garlands are the best that I've seen from, like, the big super stores out there this year like look how cute these are i think next year i want to do like a rainbow themed christmas <laughs> i know it's crazy to think that i'm already like thinking of next year but like the classic christmas with like all the rainbow colors and the rainbow twinkle lights and everything this just spoke to me i'm like oh my gosh so cute honestly like that type of colorful vibe is probably something that i would have done in my classroom um, so I would have gotten my fix there with like the over the top colorful crazy decor but this year I just haven't been able to do that of course because you know your girl is not teaching anymore they also had some really nice baking supplies now everything on michaels.com is 40% off uh, at least it is the day that I'm doing this voiceover. So I was I didn't pick up anything in store today because I wanted my 40% off. A lot of the stuff in store was not. So I was like, I might as well save my little coin and get it shipped to me or just have it picked up in store. So that's a little tip, y'all. And now we are in Home Goods. I have not been in a Home Goods in forever. Literally, I didn't even go to like Home Goods to shop for my fall and Halloween decor. Didn't really feel the need to this year. But I was like, okay, let me pop in here and see what I can find for Christmas. And you know what? Home Goods did not disappoint.
question on my Instagram the other day, but I really want to hear from y'all as to whether or not you are gift giving this year. I know sometimes some people like skip a year or two in my family. Sometimes we do Secret Santa. Not sure quite yet what we're doing, but let me know what y'all are up to because I was thinking about putting together a few gift guides, like gift guides for kids, gift guides for your husband or your father, or your mom, um, women in your life, things like that. So y'all let me know if you would be interested in that and I will try to post it and create it very, very soon because I know that a lot of people will be doing shopping as Black Friday is approaching, and I think there'll be a lot of good Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals this year. Christmas, hurry now. I can't wait to see what's under the Christmas tree for you and me. Okay, so now we are in Home Depot, and I'm not even looking at the Christmas decor here. I came specifically to look at the paint colors. If you are new here, I pretty much paint my door for every single season. So this year for Christmas, because blue is one of my colors, a part of my winter wonderland, I will be painting my door blue. I need y'all's help with this big time, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video so you can help me decide which color I should pick from. I narrowed it down to two, but I still need help. The feeling is right today Magic in the air Cause something is waiting for me Oh, oh, oh I've been good But I can last Hurry Christmas Hurry now I can't wait to see what's on So Kirkland's is the last store that we are visiting in today's video. Y'all let me know. There's some other stores out there that have bomb Christmas decor or like your go-to places for Christmas decor that you think I should visit that I probably missed in this video. Um, one place off the top of my head that I really wanted to go to, and I actually did, but they didn't have anything out for Christmas, was Joann's. I really love their decor um, usually, so yeah. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and begin the haul portion of today's video. But first, we gotta address the elephant in the room. Do you guys see this tree? It is so stunning, and I promise you, it looks even better in real life. I got it from Walmart, good old Walmart. It was around $97, I believe. It is a showstopper. I love it so much. I still haven't even like fully fluffed it out or anything. I put it together as soon as I got it because I was just so so excited but I haven't put together or put out any other Christmas decoration so we just having this in our backdrop for today but I have the link for it down below because the rest of you who are doing a pink Christmas like you might want to get her she's too cute she's not actually going to be my main Christmas tree I'm gonna put her in the back corner like in the dining room near the hutch oh, it's gonna be so cute and then Marcus and I bought a blocked tree to go here if i haven't mentioned already our theme is a winter wonderland a whimsical winter wonderland so before i show y'all everything that i got i cannot miss this opportunity to talk about my own small business sweet masonry where i sell all the home decor goods that you might need so um we recently just launched our whole entire Christmas collection. It's doing very well, but at this present moment, we still have a few items that are up for sale. So if you would like something, grab it, get your hands on it. Um, a few things did sell out, like the gnome mug and things like that, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be styling a lot of the pieces. So, okay, y'all, so this is one of like my favorite, favorite items. I did not get to show you guys this on the live, because I thought I had opened up all of like our paper ornaments that we have. But y'all, no, I didn't. I don't know how I forgot about this one. And it was the absolute biggest. But it is so beautiful and stunning. Like I don't know if you guys can tell how massive this paper ornament is. Like she is a showstopper. And 
she is definitely playing up on the whole winter wonderland vibe so i'm thinking i'm gonna put her along with all the other like little paper ornaments that i have on top of the tv so let's play around with that and see how it looks up there y'all <laughs> let's see how this might work out we recently mounted the tv um i think during the fall yeah we did this fall so the tv is up higher than it ever has been so i'm like will this work up here you guys gotta let me know down in the comments like is this cute should i do it now i could probably put it up this high What do we think? Do we like it? Do we not like it? Or I could put it like over here on this side. Okay, you see her, she's a moment. Now to go along with her, I have a few more paper ornaments. So for example, I have like this one that would also go up there. I'm not just gonna put this up there by itself. I'm gonna make like a whole collage of them. So we have this one, which looks like this from Sweet Masonry. It has like gold on the inside, super duper pretty. And then I have one that looks like this. So like a cluster of them will be up there on top of the TV. Plan B, I guess would be the fireplace mantle. Let's see. I feel like it has to hang from the ceiling, you know? Like, it has to be high up somewhere in the room. So, if it was like over here, would that be cute, you guys? Or do we like it over the TV better? Sorry, my hand's in the way. I hope y'all can like get a good idea. I feel like wherever I put it, I will put it like in the corner and then put the smaller ones in the middle. So it won't be too overpowering, but I'm gonna just put it here so you guys can see it real quick. So yeah, y'all let me know where we should put our big one. Also from Sweet Masonry, we have this beautiful paper garland as well. It is so, so stunning, you guys. Like, I am obsessed with her so very much. I feel like it's not focusing, but there are pictures on the website. So, I'm like, should I put this maybe down here, you know? Because I was planning to have this hang from the ceiling too, like in a cool way. So, I'm not sure if I should still do that or if I do do the big snowflake ornament over here, maybe I could hang this on top of the TV, like from the ceiling or something. Those are my ideas. Y'all let me know what you think. doing that maybe a little warm <laughs> but okay i just want to show you all the rest of the stuff from sweet masonry that i'm going to be using so we have these really pretty like boucle sherpa ornaments that i'm obsessed with um i think i mentioned to you guys earlier hopefully in the voiceover that i want to do bigger ornaments this year like i usually just stick to like the small little mini ones but i feel like the big ones are really gonna help my tree stand out a lot more so I love that this one is like so so huge and it just makes a big pop um, we also have this boho star garland so the overall vibe within the main spaces is winter wonderland but in our bedroom it's gonna be more of a like boho vibe pretty much so we're gonna be using a lot of these like little natural wood elements gold tones creams things like that it's what we're going for in the bedroom pretty much the same design we did last year so if you go back and watch that video you'll kind of get an idea of it and these are actually our wooden deer sets you just easily put them together boom just like that two really cute adorable deer these are sold as a set on our website now available y'all go shop 
Okay, and then I have this garland, which I'm like, okay, see, I really want to use this one on the fireplace mantle or in the kitchen. So I'm not sure yet. Y'all let me know whether you think I should do the ho ho ho, which is it backwards for y'all? No. Let me know whether or not you think I should do the ho 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 in the kitchen or underneath the fireplace mantle. I just have not decided yet, but I love like the felt balls on here. Keep this color in mind because I'm gonna be asking you guys about door colors later in this video. Yeah, I know I gotta paint my door for every season, so we will be painting her very soon. This is another thing that I forgot to show when I went live over on Sleep Masonry, but these are some beautiful, beautiful spoons that are a part of our Christmas collection. And so we have some different designs. Too good at focusing. This one. The next one, this one, which is like literally a pink Christmas tree, and then the presents. Cool. So I think I'm gonna be using these over by the hot cocoa bar area because they're just so, so cute. And these are also still available on sweetmasonries.com if you, you know, need to jazz up your tea or hot cocoa bar with some festive spoons that are so cute and mini. This is it right here, y'all. So this is another one of my favorite items from Sweet Masonry. I actually on Instagram what I should put in her because there's like a little opening right here. And y'all said, well majority of y'all said that you would put candy in here. So I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna steal that idea um, and do the same because at first I was thinking I'd put my dishwashing pods in here and I still might, I don't know yet because I haven't really like started decorating. But I wanna put some little candy canes in here right now and see how they look. So let's do it. Okay y'all, so I got my peppermints and my deer, and I'm just going to place them in here. I don't know if I should use these kind of like little sticky ones or use like the peppermint puffs. Dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Oh, I love that so, so much. So, so cute. Even the little spoons I just showed you guys could go in here really, really nicely. Okay, so of course we have our beautiful pink pot holders. These are actually sold out right now, but I just wanted to show you guys like the hues of pink are so, so cute. Love it. And then this was the other colorway that I went ahead and got for myself too. Love this as well. This colorway is also sold out, but I think we have like one more set of gray left like a darker gray and lighter gray so yeah pot holders then we have y'all's favorite santa mug i have like a few of these left uh, because there was such a high demand of these i actually ordered a whole whole bunch and they were really close to selling out so i cannot wait for us to do so so you guys get your hands on one of these up live on the website right right now so so cute then we have our marble coasters which are stunning. You get four in a set. I cannot wait to put these on the coffee table. They're just gonna look so nice in a little tray. Okay, and then of course, y'all's favorite, the Snowman Measuring Cup set, because I had like a high demand of these before they went on set. I ordered a whole bunch of these too. And we're also really close to selling out of these as well. So if you want them, you guys, this is your opportunity. I don't think I'll be doing any restocks this Christmas season, because once all this stuff sells out, I just kind of want to relax with Marcus and, you know, start planning for spring um, for Sweet Masonry. So, yeah, this is the one-fourth cup. We have the half cup. We have the one cup. And then, of course, we have the one and a half cup. Too cute! <laughs> I will forever be obsessed with these. Okay, y'all, I have way more stuff that I will be using from Sweet Masonry, our home decor collection, but I will show you the rest of it in the video. And of course, if you wanna go see for yourself, the website is now live, or you can go on our Instagram page and check out the whole live video I did over there underneath the videos tab. So now I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from at home, because in this video, that was the first store that we visited. Okay, y'all, here we go. Let's get into it. This is one of our ornaments. Y'all, look how gorgeous 
And the little pearl at the top is so, so cute. I got a few of these and they were $4.99. Also, I don't know if y'all peeped already, these ornaments that are on the tree. I got a whole bunch of these as well. They're so, so cute and they were only $3.49. So like pretty much all of this bag <laughs> is these ornaments. I just got loads and loads and loads of them because I thought they were just so, so cute. And again, our colors are pink. And we're doing blue, white, all those things for like a whole winter wonderland bag. So these are some other little blue ornaments that I got. And oh, and I should mention, none of this is going on this tree. I've just been like using this as a prop. This tree is just going to have plain white and red ornaments, I think. I'm not sure yet. Y'all let me know what colors I think I should do on this tree. Cause I'm not sure. I think I want to do white though. And just like little like random pops of red. Cause there's going to be a lot of red on the hutch with the hot cocoa bar going on. But the stuff I'm showing you right now is for our main tree, which is going to be flocked. It's going to be super pretty. So these are for the main tree y'all. Look how cutie. I love it so much. At first I was like, I don't know if I should get these, but I think I made the right decision by doing so. They were only $5.99. And you see the pink with the blue? Pink and blue, that's the vibe. And then I got a lot of snowflakes because again, I'm going for that whole winter wonderland vibe. So this is what these look like. And then I got an even bigger size of them. And then I got two more packs of an even bigger size and y'all are probably thinking girl what are you gonna be doing with all these ornaments okay so here is the plan you guys so i want to do a very elaborate porch design this year for christmas so like these big big ones are for the porch i might put these in the real tree i don't know yet but these big ones for sure right here are for the porch and i got two packs of those I also got these little ornaments that I thought were so, so cool. I only got one pack of these. I'm not sure if they're gonna go on this tree because they're white or our main tree or our sentimental tacky tree I, I, or the bedroom tree. We got so many trees going on around here, okay? It's just trees everywhere and I cannot wait. It's gonna be like the coziest Christmas ever. Okay, and these were kind of like an oddball purchase that I got because they're not really that light blue color. They're more of a teal. So I was like, I could just pop these on the tree just to add a little bit more interest so everything's not all within the same family. You know how like you need like a little extra pop pop? But I don't know if these are gonna be too much pop pop with the pink and the blue, the light pink and light blue. So y'all let me know if you think these are gonna vibe well with the colors. I have not decided yet, but of course when we decorate, like we will see if the vibe is, like if it's working. So for example, this, this is everything. Oh, and I'm doing red on this tree too, if I haven't said that already. So like this is what it would look like. I was in the store playing with it. I was like, that could be cute. So we'll see when the time comes, when I decorate. Okay y'all, and then I got a few more, like these are like my favorite. I think these are so stunning. So I got a few more like little ornaments as well. Y'all check these out, like let it focus for a sec. Do y'all see how pretty this blue is? This is like the color that I think I want the door to be within the kitchen. Y'all, I'm using like my Canon, so I have to keep like tapping it so it can change its focus. Even though it's on autofocus, it doesn't do a good job at like shifting on its own. Stop it right now! These are so cute! I cannot wait to play around with these. Four things from at home. So this is my theme in a spatula. The blue, the pink, the red. Love it so much. And I also got this one. How cute. These were only... $3.99 y'all, thought that was a super good deal. And I couldn't resist getting like the little scent stickles. So I got these in the scent White Winter Fur and they smell amazing. I think this might be the classic scent, but I know they have a few others. Oh, it smells so, so good. 
I cannot wait. Okay, y'all. So next up, we have Hobby Lobby. And you know what? I was disappointed by Hobby Lobby this year. I feel like now I'm starting to notice it's the same stuff every single year. Has it always been like that? I don't know. I got these. I thought they were really, really pretty. And they're a big pink bulb. I should have got two packs of these. I don't know why I didn't. They were $9.99, but the time I got them, they were 40% off. I feel like right now, Hobby Lobby's having like 60% off. And I had made two trips to Hobby Lobby. And when I went back for the 60% off, it was bare. Y'all, it was bare. So go now before Thanksgiving. Please go before Thanksgiving because there won't be anything left. There will not be. These were the little garlands that I used last year. So I bought two more of them because I thought they were super duper cute. And I don't know where they're going to go this year. I really don't. But I love the like vibe of them. They're so cute. And they definitely like create the essence of a cozy Christmas. So I think these are gonna be for my elaborate front porch design. So these are really cutie. I got two packs of these. I got some foam looking ones as well. Cause it's just gonna be a snowflake forest out there pretty much. I got these little pom pom balls. Don't ask me why, cause I don't know. <laughs> And I also got some paper. This right here made me like miss my teacher. That's like, oh, where are my students? These are so cute for kitties. But now I'm I'm gonna be like using these for something. They're just paper. They're $1.99 full price, but 60% off, y'all. Next up, we have Target. So now I wanna show you guys everything that I got from there. I went to Target on two separate occasions. When I first went, y'all, it was bare, as you saw in the video. But then I went a second time, and they had like a, in a different location, and they had a lot of stuff out. So check out this really cute toilet paper. How cute is this? The little mittens, and then like the little um, pine. I love this so much. Um, I got this candle, y'all. I'm gonna have this link down below. It smells so, so, so good. It is the Cypress and Pine scent from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. Y'all, I am so happy I got this. I wish y'all could smell it. It is Christmas in a candle. It's so good, yeah. So this is another item that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. So cute. Okay, here's the thing about me. If I see a black sand item that's cute, I'm getting it, like I'm getting it. This was $5. Now one thing I will say, his head is a little tricky to come off. But it has some good suction, so you know whatever you put in here is gonna stay fresh. But it's one of those items where it's at least for me, like I have to hold it like this and then like pry it back, you know, unless you have something in heavy in here. Oh, there we go. How adorbsy. Y'all give me ideas for what I should put in here because I have not decided. You also could just like leave this little hat off. Put a plant in there. Or put a little Christmas tree in there. Or a candle in here. That might be a vibe. Because I don't know if I want to like struggle every time to open the piss like little jar thingy. I got I kind of went crazy in Target. Target really leveled up this year. Way better than they did last year. Of course, another like black Santa item. How adorable is this dish towel? It's so, so cute. And it was, okay, I don't see the price on here, but I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Movie mug, I thought, I just could not pass this up. You guys know that I am a sucker for a good mug. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I totally, totally gotta get it. Okay, I got a few more items from the dollar spot section. So this little tree, which of course matches with like the little blue vibe we're going with. Oopsie. And then I got a few more of those like little trees in that similar shade. These are so, so pretty to me. Like I really want to bring in a lot more blue. So you'll see that a lot of stuff I am buying, it is either pink or blue because my first year that I did Christmas ever, like on my own, I just did red and white. So I have a lot of red and white ornaments. And then the year I moved into this house, I just used what I had, which was red and white and like bought a few more things. Last year I did red, pink and white. 
and this year I'm doing red pink blue and white so it's but like light light pink light blue you know not okay <laughs> um I also picked up these trees which have LED lights on them and this tree is very similar to what our main tree is going to look like so I think I might put these on the dining room table but not 100% sure yet where they will go this was five dollars and it had like I said the LED lights on there so I just gotta pop in some batteries and these will be good to go also I am definitely that person now who buys sheets for the bedroom for pretty much every season now so these are the ones that i got for christmas this year these are flannel sheets but i love the pattern on these so 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 cute um if you're new here our bedroom is like a dark green color so i think these are going to complement hey you okay okay no did y'all get my sheets anyways i think these are going to complement the bedroom really really well with like the boho vibe that we're bringing into that space with the creams and whip tones and stuff like that. Two more things from good old Target. So these are from the dollar spot section and I love a good nostalgic ornament set. So these were five bucks and I thought about putting these like on the other little mini trees I just showed you guys. I thought that would be really cute for the kitchen. Those are for the kitchen specifically. And then, like I said, anything like this i'm getting it gotta have it i also got these two little kids plates for us because i thought they were adorable they are microwave safe and dishwasher safe even though they are like plastic plates speaking of plates i got these little snowflake ones they're called appetizer plates from the threshold collection at target i thought they're so so pretty and you got a set of or you get a set of four i'll be honest though i still haven't found a runner yet so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get really creative when it's time to decorate that area because i want it to look really whimsical but we'll see how it turns out y'all <laughs> so next is home goodies and here's what i got from there so i we needed a new cookie sheet baking sheet so i got this really really big one it was 9.99 and of course you already know i love the pink color got a new brownie pan super duper cute and i don't know if you guys can tell they have a speckled design on them 7.99 for that one i cannot wait to be cute in the kitchen baking it's gonna be a vibe and i also got some tissue paper because probably not gonna be able to find stuff like this that's really cute and festive for the holidays when it's time to actually wrap gifts so yeah i got this this is $4.99 i also got some more plates call me obsessed but i love cute little plates with fun designs on them so i got these for us for random days where we just want to use a paper plate and then well, a festive paper plate and then i got some fun napkins as well you already know why i got this one but i got these that say fa la 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 on them and i don't know if y'all can tell on camera but they're actually really really light pink they're pulling more like white or gray on camera so yeah i thought these would be cute for the hot cocoa bar or to go on the hut just have extra napkins handy Okay, then I gotta show these to Marcus, but I got some reading cards because I was thinking we could possibly send out a few for this holiday season. Now this set only comes with 16 and we would need a whole lot more than that. But if he likes these, I could go back and like get some more. They were only $4.99. So I thought these were really cute and fun to send out to people who came to our wedding and who gifted us items, you know, and have like a little picture of us like just a small picture of us in there just saying thank you we haven't done like our christmas photo shoot yet so it'll just be a picture from the wedding which is totally fine and then these i thought were adorable for 4.99 these cute little tongues how cute are these and you get two so i'm gonna be like pulling out my fried chicken with these like it's gonna be amazing like anything that's hot hopefully it can be hot oil 
or if I oh churros I want to fry some churros too so I'm thinking I'll use these for anything where I'm like trying to get some out of hot grease that's what those will be for <laughs> and then I got this little pajama set for Marshy because I got some pajamas that are pink from Old Navy so I thought this would be really cute for her and they are they were $9.99 and I got a tree skirt, which I am obsessed with. Y'all, look at the color of this. <sighs> Just take my breath away. It is so, so pretty. It looks better in person on camera right now. Like I said, the lighting's weird. It's pulling like, but it's a, it's pulling a weird color. But in person, it's a really pretty pale pink color. So this is going to go underneath our main tree, I feel like. Yeah, it's gonna go underneath our main tree and then I think I'm gonna put a white tree skirt underneath the pink tree for this year. You know, I don't wanna have too much pink on pink. I just cannot believe that this was $14.99. Like it feels like such high quality baking wear. So I was like, wow. So y'all give me some recipes and some ideas. You know your girl will be cooking like that. What can I make in here? any ideas maybe a soup it says casserole dish, though. like this just goes straight into the oven right yeah so maybe not soup I don't know y'all let me know maybe some lasagna I just thought it was adorable and you'll see what I got to go along with this item so here's what the little mini ones look like And they have a lid. How adorbsies. How adorbsies. So I'll open these two so you guys can get a better look because they're like covered in packaging right now. <sighs> oh my goodness. I need ideas of what to make in these two. Like, what can your girl put in these? Please let me know down below. So I got these little party picks. <laughs> I thought they were the cutest things ever. And I want to use these when I'm making little snack boards and like popping these in the cheese and popping them in the fruit and things like that. They were only $4.99. You could also put these on cupcakes, whatever you want. If you throw in a party, I definitely recommend having these little things for people to pick up their food. Oh, okay, and then I got this little mold, and I want to use this to make, okay, it says cakes and brownies, but I actually wanted to use this to make little ice cubes, so hopefully it'll still work. I feel like it would, because I don't think I'll be making a cake, like little mini cakes like this, but I want to make little, um green little ice cubes that look like Christmas trees. So I could put them in cocktails and stuff like that. I think that'll be super duper fun. I saw this pink mug and I was like, this is me. I am her, gotta have her. So I just grabbed it, super duper cutie. She was only $4.99, this little sifter. So when I am baking, you know, or making French toast in the morning, and I want to put, I guess, some powdered sugar in here, right? That's what you put in here. Or, you, or maybe we'll put flour in here. Flour and powdered sugar, you know, all that type of stuff. I'm thinking I'll use it though for powdered sugar. It'd be cute. And sprinkle it on top of the pancake. So cute. The last place we went to in today's video was Kirkland's. And Kirkland's. They didn't come through for me as much as I thought they would, to be quite honest with you. I used to like go into Kirkland's and my jaw would like drop to the floor just because of how beautiful everything is. And everything is still super duper like cute and pretty, but I didn't see anything that like made my jaw drop this year. So it was like okay, but I did end up getting these little picks that I thought would be fun. I've never like put picks in the tree and had them like coming out like that but i've seen that a lot on instagram and i was like hmm that could be cute 
but if I don't like the way that that looks, these are weather resistant. So you know what that means. They could go outside on the porch with my elaborate design that I'm trying to do. So yeah, I got four of these little picks. Everything at Kirkland's today was 25 to 30% off. So instead of paying $8.99 for these, I think I paid like $6 each for them. So yeah, they're long and they're big. I don't even know if these are meant to be like going on a tree or if these are more so like something that goes in a vase, but I'm going to try it and just see. These will go on the main tree, by the way. So let's see. It will be something like that. Wait, does it look like cotton? Cause that is not the vibe. I feel like right now the tree look like cotton. I could just be tripping though. Do we like that, y'all? I'm gonna have to ask Marcus. Right now, I'm not convinced. But I feel like if you're decorating a tree, aren't these the things you put on last? Or are these what you put on first? I don't know yet. Cause I've never done it before. I don't know how I feel about them. I really, really don't. And they would have to be like perfectly symmetrical, right? For them to be cute. So I'm trying to like see, am I gonna be able to make this work? Again, they're not going in this tree, but I'm just trying to like get an idea of what I could do to make it work. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I really, really, really don't know about these. Y'all gotta let me know. You gotta let me know down in the comments because I'm not sure. But anyway, y'all, that's pretty much all that I have to show you guys right now. So thank you all for coming along with me and help. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. The paint colors for the door. Wait, wait, y'all, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I need help figuring out the paint color. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at this one, y'all, I feel like this one doesn't go. Beachside Drive. Beachside Drive could still be a vibe. Ocean Boulevard. Okay, I between Beachside Drive and Ocean Boulevard, I like Ocean Boulevard better. And then we have Wave Top. I feel like it's so hard for y'all to see these colors right now. I'm so sorry. The lighting is so bad. Hmm. Let me switch over to my iPhone real quick, y'all. Right, so now we're on the iPhone. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. So this is Ocean Boulevard. The colors are way truer on the iPhone than they are on the camera. And then this is Wave Top like wave top just pulls something out of these ornaments and it even looks good with this up here Ooh, this is gonna be a tight race y'all ocean boulevard or a wave top mm, i really need y'all's help on this because right now i'm stumped Okay y'all, so that brings us to the end of today's video. Officially, a lot of decisions still have to be made and a lot more planning has to be done, but I feel like we have a really good start. Like all the stuff I got, like bought new this year to go with the new Winter Wonderland theme, Winter Wonderland theme, I feel like it all goes super duper well together. So now it just comes down to picking out the door color. Y'all let me know, Ocean Boulevard or Wave Top. Um, and then also, should I put the big, big, big 
30 inch paper ornament up on top of the TV or over on the fireplace mantle, which I'll think. And then the other big decision was about these. Like, how do we feel about them? Are they cute? Do they look like cotton? Or will they look better on my flocked tree instead of this pink tree? All questions that need to be answered so we can officially begin decorating. Like I'm beyond ready. So I will be looking at y'all's comments tonight and tomorrow morning to make sure that I'm making the right choice. But, but yeah, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.